Good day, students. I am Mrs. Jai Semiadekweju, your economics teacher. Today's topic is the nature of Nigerian economy. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Describe the nature of Nigerian economy. 2. Describe the nature and structure of industries in Nigeria. 3. State the contributions of primary, secondary, and tertiary sectors. 4. State the economic activities of the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Nature of Nigerian Economy The Nigerian economy is determined by many economic activities, such as trading, mining, farming, and so on. Some of these activities contribute various sums of money to the economy. The largest contribution of about 85% comes from crude oil, petroleum, and gas. Before and immediately after independence in 1960, agriculture contributed more than 90% of money in the economy. But today, petroleum is the main source of income in Nigeria. Nigerian economy now relies on petroleum, which has led to instability of the economy since 1970, and the agricultural sector neglected. The economy of Nigeria is classified into one, monoproduct economy, two, import-oriented economy. Monoproduct economy. This refers to an economy that depends mainly on one product for its export. Nigeria depends mainly on petroleum for export. Two, import-oriented economy. This means that Nigeria depends mostly on imported goods and services to satisfy her needs. This has led to unfavorable balance of payments, close down of local industries, unemployment, and others. Analysis of the structure and nature of industries in Nigeria. Industry is a collection of firms producing similar goods and services. Industries act as a catalyst that accelerates the pace of structural transformation and diversification of the economy. Nigeria is ranked 44 in the world and third in Africa in factory outputs. Examples of industries in Nigeria include Automobile industry, chemical industry, petroleum industry, textile industry, construction industry, and others. The structure of this sector is dualistic and characterized by informal small enterprises and relatively few modern firms. The sector employs skilled and unskilled labor. Varieties of goods such as plastics, textiles, sugar, salt, soap, vegetable oil, and others are produced. Mass production in this sector are hindered by one, inconsistent government policies. 2. Low level of technology. 3. Financial problem. 4. Power failure. And 5. Lack of infrastructural facilities. And so on. Thank you for your attention. Welcome back. Primary sector. This sector makes direct use of natural resources. It includes farming, 
forestry, fishing, mining, solid minerals, and so on. It is the largest sector in Nigeria. Contributions of primary sector to the economy. One, the output of primary sector serve as raw materials for secondary sector. For example, cocoa is produced by farmers in this sector. It serves as raw materials for the production of beverages in the secondary sector. Number two, it provides employment opportunity. A large number of people are gainfully employed in this sector. Examples are farmers, fishermen, miners, and so on. Number three, provision of food from agricultural sector. Four, sources of revenue to the government. And five, sources of foreign exchange earnings. Secondary sector. This sector engages in the manufacturing of goods using the input from the primary sector. It involves the converting of raw materials into finished products. For example, the production of cement from limestone, the production of plastic from oil. It also involves assembling of products such as building of houses, bridges, and roads, contribution of secondary sector to the economy. Number one, provision of variety of goods, such as soap, books, shoes, bags, sugar, etc. Number two, provision of market for intermediate goods. Intermediate goods are goods used to create finished products. Number three, provision of employment opportunity for the citizens. Number four, it serves as import substituting industry. And number five, it lays a solid foundation for industrial development. Tertiary sector. This is a service sector. It refers to services that support the production and distribution process. Activities associated with this sector include insurance, transportation, tourism, banking, communication, and others. Contributions of tertiary sector to the economy. One, it generates employment opportunity for the citizens. Two, it accelerates investment and hence growth and productivity in the economy. Three, it stimulates improvement in domestic banking. Four, provision of revenue for the government. And five, it makes important contribution to the gross domestic product of the country. Economic activities of the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Nigeria has six geopolitical zones, namely one, northwest, two, northeast, three, north central, four, southwest, five, southeast, six, South, South. Thank you for listening. When we come back after this short break, we shall consider the economic activities of the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the last session of today's class the six geopolitical zones and their economic activities. Number one, the Northwest Geopolitical Zone. The states found in this zone include Chokoto, Samfara, Kebi, Katsina, Jigawa,
Kano, and Kaduna states. The economic activities of this zone are mainly farming, fishing, and livestock rearing, especially in cattle, sheep, and goats. They are also involved in industrial activities like mining. Number two, the Northeast Geopolitical Zone. It consists of Yobe, Bono, Bauchi, Gombe, Adamawa, and Taraba states. The major economic activities of this zone include farming, fishing, and livestock production, especially in cattle, sheep, and goats. They are equally involved in mining activities. Number three, the North Central Geopolitical Zone. The zone represents the middle belt of Nigeria, comprising of Benue, Kogi, Nasarawa, Niger, Plateau, and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The major economic activities of this zone is farming. Number four, the Southwest Geopolitical Zone. The zone is made up of six Yoruba-speaking states of the country. The states are Lagos, Ogun, Oyo, Ondo, Ekiti, and Oshun states. The region engaged in farming, especially tree crops like cocoa, rubber, cola nuts, oil palm, and livestock activities like poultry and piggery. The zones also engaged in commercial activities like trading, manufacturing, seaports, and mining activities in gold and limestones. Number five, the Southeast Geopolitical Zone. This zone is made up of five Igbo-speaking states. They are Anambra, Imo, Enugu, Abia, and Ebonyi states. The main economic activities of this zone are farming in crops like palm oil, rubber, cola nuts, and other food crops like yam, cassava, rice, and so on. They are equally involved in mining activities in coal, petroleum, limestone, etc. The zone is also noted for heavy trading and local manufacturing in Abia and Anambra states. Six, the South-South Geopolitical Zone. This zone comprises of the six oil-producing states of the Niger Delta. These states are Edo, Delta, Rivers, Bayesa, Cross River, and Aqua Ibon states. The major economic activities of this zone include the production of crude oil, limestone in Edo, and iron oil in Delta. They are equally involved in crop farming and fishing due to their location in Niger Delta. Other economic activities are trading, banking, seaport activities, and other. With this, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Till I come your way next time, revise everything you have learned today and answer the following questions. Number one, describe the nature of Nigerian economy. Two, state five contributions of secondary sector to the economy. Three, mention any four geopolitical zones in Nigeria. And four, what are the economic activities of the four geopolitical zones mentioned above?